y'all. So getting right into it, um, the hair that I got is from Amazon by a company called Mermaid Hair Store. And so basically it came in a box and then it also was in a bag. So then I took the hair out the bag and then it's covered with like a net um, material. And then inside the hair is just some, I guess you would call it like some type of wrapping paper to keep the form of the hair. But yeah, so that's basically how the hair looks right out of the package. It's really soft. It wasn't hard at all. And as you can see, it's a 4x4 lace closure. And I believe it has four clips. One on the side, one in the top, on the other side, and one at the back in the nape. And it also comes with the adjustable straps in the back. So from the very first impression, the hair was soft. There wasn't any tangles or anything, so that was good. Alright y'all, so I went ahead and put my wig cap on. I made sure that I got a brown color that matches my skin. And, um... As you can see, I tried to bring the cap down because for some reason it was sliding back and my edges weren't done, so I was like, oh no. But eventually I got it to work and I didn't have cornrows. All I did was put my hair in the bun and put it in the back because I honestly and truly did not have time to give myself some cornrows. But this is how the hair looks right out the box, like I said earlier. And because of the way it was laying in the box, there is a little dent on one side of the hair. But that's nothing that a straightener can't fix. So I went ahead and just placed the wig on top of my head just to see how it would fit. And honestly and truly, as soon as I put it on, I was like, what is this? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm not used to wearing short hair, so it's definitely something different for me. But um, as you can see, I'm giving Tyler the creator, <laughs> and I definitely knew it would be some tweaking that I needed to do. As y'all can see, I'm looking like Aunt Jemima, so I had to get some mousse to see if I could make the top portion lay down a little flatter. So I just kept putting mousse and then I um, combed it down with my rat tail comb just to see if it could lay a little more flatter than what it was. And then here is where I started cutting the lace. So I just tucked the front portion of the hair behind my ears and took my shears and started just cutting away that little portion of the um, lace. foundation that was in my skin color and just tried to make that part look a little bit more like skin and as you can see when you first put it on it'll be a little muddy so like you can tell that it's foundation but after you wait a little while and kind of comb it through it starts to look a lot better and because when I first put it on it was looking a bit wiggy like after I put the makeup I decided to do or put on some little baby hair because when I looked at it off camera I was like oh no this doesn't look right so I started doing some baby hairs but I thought I'd finish it on camera so I kind of just took little tiny pieces of my hair out in the front and was just laying them down with some got to be glue just to see how it would look when I lay them down and then place the wig right on top. So I am one of the most minimalistic type of people where I don't really like to do too much to my hair. Like even doing these 
mediocre baby hairs was pushing it for me because usually I just like wigs that I can just plop on my head and then keep it moving that's why I haven't really tried um, like full-blown frontals but who knows I might get into that later so doing these baby hairs was just a bit much for me but I do think once I did it it started to look a tad bit more natural because having the baby hairs made sure that I pushed the wig back a little bit more and because of that I think it kind of looks a lot more better than how it looked before.
because if it was really thick, you you could tell. You know how it gets all like boxy and choppy at the bottom. It's not choppy with this because it's like the perfect thickness. But there are some people who do like thicker hair. I actually like this for a bob. I would say thinner is better because it looks more natural. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you think the hair is a bop or a flop. <laughs> but yeah, any concerns, any questions, anything you want to ask me, go ahead, drop it down in the comment section and I will reply to you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!